Accurate pipe and cable locating is an important part of safe and successful excavation. Anytime you dig, you need to have an accurate picture of the buried utilities in the area. Water, power, sewer, telephone, gas, fiber optic, and cable TV lines all run underground. Digging into any one of these lines by accident may disrupt service to the public or cause you or your crew members serious injury. Accurate locating can prevent such accidents. In this program, you will discover how the Metrotech 810DX line locators can help improve the efficiency and increase the accuracy of your locates. Metrotech locators are sophisticated yet easy to use electronic instruments. Active locating is the standard method of accurately locating buried utilities. Locating technicians use the locating system to do blind searches, ground surveys, and to confirm active locates. Active locating involves both a transmitter and a receiver. To locate a pipe or cable in the active mode, you must first transmit a signal onto the target conductor, which must be metallic or have metal tracing wire or tape to pick up the signal. The receiver, tuned to the same frequency, picks up the signal above ground, allowing you to trace the conductor's path. In active locating, there are three methods for transmitting the signal onto your target conductor. Conductive or direct connect, inductive coupling or clamp, and inductive or indirect. The best active locating method is the conductive or direct connect method. Because the transmitter is directly connected to the metallic conductor, maximum signal will be transmitted on the conductor. If the direct connect method is not possible, Use the inductive coupling method. Position a metro clamp around the conductor you want to trace and the transmitter will induce a signal through the metro clamp directly onto the conductor. The third active method is the inductive or indirect method used only when the other two active methods are not possible. The transmitter broadcasts a signal which is picked up by all conductors within the range of the transmitter. Usually the conductor nearest the transmitter will carry the most signal. Whenever possible, use the direct connect method. The signal will be stronger and the conductor will be easier to find. The Metrotech 810 DX line locator will enable you to locate quickly and accurately with the active method. Its many automatic and easy to use features will reduce second guessing and save you time in the field. The Metrotech 810DX is an active radio frequency utility line locator. The 810DX transmitter features continuous current output, three output power levels, quality line resistance check, automatic continuous battery check, and an environmentally sealed design. The transmitter is available with replaceable or rechargeable batteries. The Metrotech 810DX receiver features distance sensitive left right guidance digital signal strength display, push-button depth, real-time continuous gain, standard backlighting, and a rugged water-resistant housing. When you first arrive at the job site, there are several things you should do before you begin to locate. If you are working in or near a street, always wear your orange reflectorized vest. Use cones, red flags, or barricades to warn drivers of your presence. Consult the blueprints or as-builts of available to determine the general location of the pipes or cables in the area. Use valves, hydrants, transformers, or other visual points to help orient yourself. When you are ready to locate, check the batteries on both the transmitter and the receiver. On the transmitter, push the on-off button to turn the transmitter on. The battery level is displayed in percentage. A 100% number indicates the batteries are fully charged. All LEDs flashing indicates the batteries are very low. After checking the battery status, turn the transmitter off before plugging in the leads. Because pipes and cables may carry live current, use a voltmeter before attaching the transmitter to any conductor. 
If electrical current is present, carefully disconnect the source using appropriate safety procedures. If you cannot disconnect the live current, use the inductive clamp or the inductive method to locate your target. If you are using the direct connect method, make sure the transmitter power is off. Then plug in the direct connect cable. Because of the 810DX's high power output, handling both leads with the power on could deliver a shock. The next step is to ground the transmitter. If no existing ground is available, use the ground spike. Extend the black lead of the direct connect cable as far as possible from the transmitter and at a right angle to your target conductor. Drive the ground spike into the ground then clip the lead onto the ground spike. Next attach the red clip to the most convenient hookup for your industry. Make sure that you have good metal to metal contact. The better the contact, the better your signal. Make sure that the ground wire does not lay across or too close to another buried conductor. This may cause the signal to return on an unwanted conductor or create signals that make it difficult to isolate your target. If this happens, move the rod or plate to another location away from the unwanted conductor. Although this may reduce the signal strength, it will help isolate the target. After connecting the red lead, turn the transmitter on by pressing the on-off button. The transmitter displays the battery level continuously. The power output defaults to the high power level setting. Push and hold the output button to check the line resistance of your targeted conductor and earth ground. The solid LED indicates the level of current flow on your conductor. Most locating problems are the result of inadequate current flow. The transmitter's current applied to the conductor must return to the transmitter via its ground connection. The quality of the ground is extremely important. A poor ground increases the loop's resistance to the current flow. The ground must be metallic and the deeper it is driven into the ground the better your field strength will be. A good ground reduces the loop's resistance and increases the current flow. The built-in line resistance check on the Metrotech 810DX transmitter is designed to help you evaluate the quality of your circuit. You will know if you have successfully improved the circuit connection when the LED indicator has gone from the medium LED to the high LED. If the output power LED remains low, then the circuit resistance is greater than 5 kilo ohms. Attempting any locate with the low LED indicator warning may subject your underground plant to a hit. Improve the ground connection to reduce the resistance and check if the medium or high power LED has illuminated. The Metrotech 810DX transmitter is equipped with a quality line resistance feature. When the power output button is pressed for several seconds and there is no solid LED indication, this means the loop resistance exceeds 7 kilo ohms. You should not continue with this locate. Find a better connection point before proceeding. After you have completed your hookup and have established the best ground possible, you are ready to locate with the 810DX utility line locator. The Metrotech transmitter and receiver operate with an 83 kilohertz frequency. To know if the 810DX transmitter is sending the output signal, point the 810DX receiver at the transmitter leads. A high field strength number should appear on the LCD. If you are using the inductive coupling method, first make sure the transmitter power is off, then position the metro clamp around the conductor you want to trace, using the smallest clamp size that will fit around your conductor. The closer the clamp size is to the conductor, the stronger the signal will be. After hooking up the metro clamp to the conductor, connect the phone plug to the output jack of the transmitter. Turn the power on. The battery and the power output LED indicator will flash simultaneously. In the inductive coupling method, both ends of the target conductor must be grounded to ensure a return path to the transmitter for optimum signal strength. Power lines and telephone sheaths are generally grounded but gas lines often have insulators. Use a jumper cable to temporarily bypass the insulators on the meter.